Hello and welcome to Famous Females. Today we want to share with you the remarkable story of an architect who challenged the status quo and made a significant impact on the field of architecture. It's about Zaha Hadid. Life and Work Zaha Hadid, a visionary architect, was born in 1950 in the bustling city of Baghdad, Iraq. Her father was a wealthy industrialist and her mother was an artist. From an early age, she was exposed to the power of art and design, which ignited her passion for pushing the boundaries of what was possible in architecture. She attended boarding school in Switzerland and later pursued her love of mathematics at the American University of Beirut. It wasn't until she moved to London to study at the Architectural Association School of Architecture that her real journey began. In London, Hadid immersed herself in the experimental architecture movement and was deeply influenced by the works of legendary architects like Le Corbusier and Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. After graduating, she worked tirelessly for several prestigious firms, including Rem Koolhaas's Ome and Zengelis, until she finally established her own firm, Zaha Hadid Architects, in 1979. Despite facing discrimination as a Muslim woman in the predominantly male-dominated field of architecture, Hadid remained determined to break barriers and push the limits of what was possible. Her tenacity and drive inspired countless young architects, including some of her own staff members. Interesting Facts Hadid was known for her innovative furniture designs, including the iconic Z-Chair, she was an advocate for using technology to advance architecture and design, and was a pioneer in using computer software to create complex geometries and forms. She was also a professor of architecture at the University of Applied Arts Vienna and taught at various other institutions around the world. Hadid was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2012 for her services to architecture. Hadid was an accomplished artist as well as an architect and her paintings and drawings were exhibited in galleries around the world. She was a huge fan of jazz music and often incorporated elements of it into her designs. Hadid was an avid skier and even designed a ski jump in Innsbruck, Austria for the 2012 Winter Youth Olympic Games. Hadid was a collector of modern and contemporary art, and her personal collection included works by artists such as Francis Bacon and Anish Kapoor. Some of her buildings Vitra Fire Station in Weil am Rhein, Germany, 1994, Hadid's first major commission, an iconic building that showcases her signature style. Bergesel Ski Jump in Innsbruck, Austria, 2002, a visually stunning ski jump that seamlessly blends into the surrounding mountain landscape. Feno Science Center in Wolfsburg, Germany, 2005, a dynamic sculptural building that houses interactive science exhibits. Guangzhou Opera House in Guangzhou, China, 2010, a massive undulating structure that serves as a major cultural landmark in the city. Haydar Aliyev Center in Baku, Azerbaijan, 2012, a striking fluid structure that houses a cultural center and museum. Dongdaemun Design Plaza in Seoul, South Korea, 2014, a futuristic multi-purpose cultural hub that features a distinctive curving form. A Tragic End Tragically, in 2016, Hadid passed away at the age of 65 due to a heart attack while being treated for bronchitis in a Miami hospital. The news was a shock to the architecture world, and many mourned the loss of such an extraordinary talent. However, despite her untimely passing, Hadid's legacy continues to inspire architects and designers all around the globe. Awards and Recognition Throughout her illustrious career, Hadid received a plethora of awards and honors. In 2004, she made history as the first woman to receive the prestigious Pritzker Architecture Prize. She also received the Royal Gold Medal by the Royal Institute of British Architects, the Sterling Prize, and the Japan Art Association's Premium Imperial. In 2012, she was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, and was posthumously awarded the Reba Royal Gold Medal in 2016. Hadid's impact on the field of architecture cannot be overstated. Her innovative designs, commitment to sustainability, and determination to break barriers 
have paved the way for future generations of architects and designers to follow in her footsteps. Her remarkable legacy will continue to inspire and shape the world of architecture for many years to come. This was the story of Zaha Hadid. Got any ideas for which famous females we should feature in our next video? Drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.